Okay, well here we go. Uh, back again. That didn't take too long. Tried to use a little finesse with some of these smaller tools here to get in and you know try to bend this here, bend this here, but uh, some pretty th thick gauge steel. So even try to use this guy. This fella here, he got to maybe go you know, cramp and uh, bend this way. The, what I was also trying to do is not put any pressure on the actual fins of the motor. I mean, that's the last thing I want to do is bend these fins, and then I'll be you know, losing any type of flow and also balance. So down here, I was able to move it a little bit, but just uh, couldn't get enough leverage. So just go to a handy dandy standard pliers. I was able to get in and at the angle get, get the teeth right able to get in get the teeth right in uh, actually not actually uh, be able to get between each fan, fan blade and pull up to get enough leverage got a little slippage here and there from on the rubber but this is how you can tell how off this guy is watch this motor spin and watch it wobble underneath this lip Yeah, that's how much play you got. This, you know, wobbling there. Pretty bad, actually. Uh, I don't know. I mean, they're not built on watches, but they are building thousand, two thousand dollar air conditioning units. So you assume they have some wobble taking out of these motors. And here you can definitely tell here how much it wobbles up and down. I don't know if that's part of the plastic lip this thing is tied to or what, but. Anyways, there's no more vibration, hopefully, and, uh, you know, hopefully we can get this in here and it'll be fine. There again, you can see kind of clearance. It's, it's kind of crazy. What also may have happened, 